Today I'm going to show you guys how to rock the new Blur Gallery in Photoshop CC 2014. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And we got a cool episode for you today. It's all about some of the new features they released in the latest version of Photoshop. This is Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 and they got some awesome releases. They're yours free if you already have a CC subscription. Basically all you have to do is go to your Creative Cloud membership and update your software. It's going to install Photoshop CC 2014 and that's how you're going to get access to these new tools. Now in today's episode we're going to be going over the new blur gallery and I'm going to show you guys two amazing new blurs that they added to Photoshop. We're going to do that and create this amazing sports image, give it a little bit more style. So here's our image we're working on today. This is by Myro and he's one of the contest entries for our action sports contest. Really, really cool image. And it's a like no better image to test out the new blur features. Anytime you're working with like an action sport, something you want to add a lot of style, that's when these blurs can come into effect. Now we're going to be using some blurs in this episode that might not be super realistic. Like this probably wouldn't happen straight out of the camera, but it still is a really cool effect to add style to your images. All right, the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and just duplicate our background layer. And I'm going to show you guys how to get to these tools. So we're going to go to Filter, down here to Blur Gallery, and we're going to start off with the Path Blur. So we're just going to click on Path Blur, and you can see it pretty much just everything goes away, and we've got a new Path Blur, which is really nice. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit how this works. Basically, if I've got my uh, direction here, this is the direction that my blur is going to go to. So at this point, it's really similar to like a motion blur. You can build up your speed, which is basically just going to blur something a little bit more. Let's bring that right back to about there. And then you can bring in taper, which kind of just like if you bring taper high enough off up, it basically uh, shuts down your blur all the way up and you don't have much blur. So it just kind of tapers off the blur farther from your blur center here, which is in this case right over there. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to click here and just kind of move this around so you guys We'll just bring up the speed a little bit so you guys can get a good idea of what this actually does. So this is basically like a motion blur if I don't add any movement to it. Now, really, really cool, but let's say, you know, right about here, I think it's got a really cool effect with this area of the fence right there. It's blurred, but I can still see detail, whereas here I can't see anything. Now, if I bring the blur right around this way, I get the same effect over here, but not over here. So what if I wanted that same blur on both places? Well, this is where we're going to actually bring in a custom path to blur our subject. But you'll also notice that our subject right now is getting a blur as well. So how do we make sure that we are able to blur the background but not our subject? With that, we're going to create a selection. So I'm going to hit escape really quick and we're going to make a selection right around our subject. So let's go to our lasso tool here. I'm going to create a selection right around our subject. And then I'm going to hit Q for the quick mask. Right now we don't have a feathered edge and I actually do want a feathered edge. It's going to help the transition look a little bit more natural. So we're going to bring up our feathering. There we go. Maybe about 20 or so. Let's hit Q again and then I'll remake this selection and hit Q again and we can see a little bit of a feathered edge. You know what? We'll bring it up even more. So Q, the quick mask is just a really quick way to actually see what you have selected. All right, there we go. And that looks like a pre pretty decent selection. We've got our biker selected out with a nice feathered edge. So we don't want him to actually be blurred right now. We'd like the inverse. We want to blur the background. So we're going to go to select and then down to inverse and that's going to inverse your selection. So now we're just working with the background. Okay, now we're ready for our blur. So let's go back to filter. We're going to go to blur gallery and I'm going to try this new path blur. Okay, so you can see the background is now getting affected but our subject is not. So I'm going to stretch these two around. Now the coolest thing about this new field blur, or sorry, the, the new path blur, field blur is also within the same blur gallery by the way, is you can actually add a movement here. So I'm going to click right here in the center and kind of pull this down a little bit. And what we're getting, even if I increase the speed here, you're going to see that we get a really, really cool effect where this is kind of like blurring along an axis. Now keep in mind guys, this is it would work if you were trying to do like some motion tracking around a curve or something like that. That would be a kind of a realistic blur. Now in this case, this is just more for style than anything else. This is not a blur that you would get straight out of camera because there's just no 
optical way a camera would actually make this blur do this. But in this case, it's really cool for style. So that's one way to add a blur. If you want to just, let's hit um, delete here, which should delete that blur. And now I can just kind of click a couple different places and I can create a very complicated blur as well. So again, this would be more for style, probably something I wouldn't use as well, but you can continue to make points and it will just continue to make your blur follow along any path that you decide to make, which is really, really cool. So let's hit delete again because we don't really need that. So in this case, we're gonna click and drag over here and that's how we create our point. There we go. And then we're gonna grab our middle point and just kind of pull it up in this direction. And this is gonna get us that really cool blur that we like. And then from here, basically it's just up to us to adjust our speed. I really like that they updated their blur gallery in Photoshop CC 2014 because previously you didn't have a lot of a good preview of what you were actually going to be blurring, especially with things like the radial blur and the motion blur. And now I feel like they've done a great job and you can actually see that. So that looks great. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we can see it's going to take a second and it's going to apply the blur onto our background copy layer. So we're not messing with our original layer. We've got the background copy layer and that's taking the blur. So that's how we take care of a path blur. Now I'm gonna show you their new spin blur. And for that, we're gonna deselect. So I'm gonna hit Command D. We're gonna zoom in and we're gonna make a selection right here around our wheel because that's the area that I actually want to be blurred. So I'm gonna go with my elliptical marquee tool. We're gonna go ahead and make a selection right around here for the wheel but I don't want it to blur things like, I want it to look like the wheel is spinning, right? But I don't want it to blur things like the chain and the spokes and what, like the chain, what it, whatever part of a bike that is, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to grab our lasso tool and I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, which brings up a minus sign next to our selection. So I can actually minus out of this selection. So I'm gonna kind of just click right around here. There we go. And we're gonna minus this area out of our selection. We're gonna do the same thing with this bar here. All right, so wherever I minus out, that's not going to be selected now, and it's not going to receive the blur. So now we have a selection of the wheel minus those areas that are not actually spinning. We're gonna go to filter, blur gallery, and then down to spin blur. All right, now with our new spin blur, we're gonna take our blur center and just kind of move this up. You wanna basically be to the center of whatever wheel or thing you plan on spinning. We're gonna take our fall off and we're gonna bring that down. And then we're just gonna take the size of our spin blur and I wanna bring that down as well. I can rotate this around. There we go. And we can even scale it. This blur tool is really, really awesome. So we can see here now basically adjusting my spin angle or my blur angle, we can see it's getting different effects. So here we have, basically this is straight out of camera and now I'm gonna show you guys adding that blur. And since we had our selection just on the wheel, it's not going to affect anything else. So I can give it just as much blur as we'd like. Let's go something around there. It's gonna look a lot more realistic. All right, let's hit okay. And then deselect by hitting command D. And you guys can see, let's just look at the before and after real quick with that wheel, very cool. And then we're gonna zoom out and I'm gonna show you guys the before and the after with the entire image. So here's our before and our after. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me for this episode. If you like what we're doing here at Flurn and you wanna stay updated with all of our new releases, be sure to hit the subscribe button right on your screen now so you can get all of our new episodes delivered right to your YouTube or your inbox or whatever you have your preferences set to. Leave us a comment down below if you have any ideas for future episodes you'd like us to cover and share this with your friends and your family. People into action sports, people wanna create blurs, why not? It's a fun thing to do. Thanks so much guys and we'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. All right, well, thanks so much. What is it, Daisy? If you like what we're doing and you wanna stay in tune. Cool. Um, right on the screen now, and you guys will stay up that. <laughs> Damn it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Ah, this is hard. Thanks, Kiernan. Ah.